Welcome back to the Chautauqua County Fair. Floral Hall is a staple of the county fair, and with its dozens of exhibits featuring area schools and organizations, as well as antiques, collectibles, artwork and crafts, the hall has something to interest everybody. There are over 3,000 items on display in Floral Hall this year, many of which are featured in the photography competition. We have in color and black and white, we have about 39, 38 categories for each section. And um, all total between the adult and the junior, the 17 and under section, we have 850, about 850 photographs here this year. It's the largest we've had so far in fair history. With the digital cameras, it's becoming so much more easier for people and they're becoming more pleased with their results and the variety that they can achieve. And I think that's what's been the stimulus for people. The appeal of Floral Hall is widespread. People of all ages are able to submit various works of art, crafts, or collectibles as a way to exhibit their talents or interests. Anybody can submit something, whether you're a child or an adult and grandparents. I mean, we have people who are in their 90s that enter things and how excited they get to see this little ribbon and proud. They're very proud and I love seeing the same ones year after year after year. I think it's just having a little recognition. You know, you get the blue ribbon means more than the $2 premium check, you know, and especially the kids, they get so excited. And, and then it's the tradition of it all, I think. You know, we are an agricultural area and home and family are a big deal in the agricultural community and I think that's probably it. You know, it's just nice to show your stuff. Many of the winning entries from Floral Hall will go on to compete at the New York State Fair, held in Syracuse at the end of August. This competition is such an honor that our Chautauqua County Fair dates were actually moved in order to allow the winners to continue on. In 1959, the fair was changed to be in September, or to be from September into July. And that was the first year it's been held in July. And it was moved ahead because the state fair wanted to be the last fair so that the so county fairs could be entering things into the state fair. Besides the various arts and crafts on display, there are also numerous groups and organizations that would love to tell you more about who they are and what they do. Two of these organizations at the fair this year are the Hilltop Spinners and the Grange. There was six or six or eight of us that got together and started spinning down in Russell, Pennsylvania. And we've been going ever since then, probably about 27 years now. We, we uh, make hats and scarves and we give them to the, the needy. It's relaxing. It's, uh, I like the idea that I spin and then I knit. And I have done the whole project myself. I do our hats and mittens and scarves and people that I know, they make sleeping bags for the needy and in them they put hats, mittens, scarves and so forth, so I donate. Grange is one of the oldest groups around the country. Fredonia is number one, Grange number one, and, and I'm with the Ripley Grange, which we're number 65. In the Ripley Grange booth, we feature music through the schools, music in the home, and music within the church and uh, they motivate us. Music uh, gets us stimulated. Uh, music can satisfy the soul and give us comfort. When you visit the fair, be sure to stop by Floral Hall. There is a lot to learn or simply to look at and enjoy. Well, it's my understanding from the woman who did this before me, June Prince, for many, many years, and she's traveled around, looked at a lot of fairs, that our woman's building, our Floral Hall, is one of the biggest and the nicest and the most organized and uh, just a really, really nice attraction in the fair. And some of them are just very small, maybe a table or whatever, and we really, you know, this is a big deal. This is Amber Reinhardt for the Chautauqua Star.